major things are going to happen with this tank. But before we can do that, we need to set up a bigger filter. What's going on YouTube? Paul the Inventory King. We are going to set up a Sun Sun HW304B that I have had for some time because there are some changes happening to this tank and we need bigger filtration for that to happen. So let's go ahead and set it up and get it rolling. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this Sun Sun HW304 Bravo. There's the canister and all of the hoses and fittings and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up. Okay, so when you open up the filter inside of it, you've got your trays with some filter pads. These come with some bio balls, which I don't use. There's also some ceramic rings. Looks like some carbon. Let me go ahead and set these down here. And then another uh, tray with, um, we got some pad and we got a nice coarse uh, pad down here. This. So, inside here you got your hoses, you have your valve, looks like this one is your intake, this one is your outtake, or your return, excuse me. So, I need to rinse all this off and you're not going to want to watch me do that, so let me rinse it off come back and then we're going to add in the media. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to get the canister filter filled with all the media. That is going to be the first thing that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and put these clean trays in the bucket here. And we'll start with the bottom. Now when you're setting this up, if you look in the canister, there's that little orange dot. You need to make sure that these are lined up with that. Super important. I might not use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, matrix that has a bunch of beneficial bacteria. It's live. Um, in here with the chemi pierce. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom tray. Now these bags have water in them. And this is made by uh, Culture Max. Great stuff, I've used it before, very happy with it. So you're gonna go ahead and just pull it out. And there's gonna be water and stuff that comes out of this. Leave it in there. That's got good stuff that you want. So leave that there. So go ahead and set your media in the tray. You know, kind of move it around so you can try to get it as flat as possible. Okay, now what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to fill that gap around with polyfill. Okay, we got our trusty polyfill. I'm going to go ahead now and add some of this just in these sections here. The Sun Sun is a great filter. Um, they're inexpensive and they work well. Uh, the pros for me, again, is the price and the fact that it does a good job filtering. Uh, there are some cons. Some of the cons are, um, after a while, the seal 
where the uh, motor mounts to the canister leaks, which is a pain. Um, like I said, that that is probably, there's that. That's a con for me. And then the other con is the hoses. They're very firm and hard to work with. So that's the pros and cons for me on these. But for the price, you can't beat the you know filtration that it does provide, which, like I said, is something I like. So since it's as tall, I'm only gonna do this much just to help with the edges. Set it in place. Now the next one. So I'm going to leave the pads on the bottom here just to help catch anything since the top here isn't covered with polyfill. But I'll do a really good job on the last, the last one, which is gonna do, do wonders for me. So let's go ahead and pour this out. Again, set it in, smooth it out as much as you can so it's nice and flat. Let's see. Actually, what I'm going to do really quick here, I don't like how it was a little too tall. I'm going to move some of this around here. Okay, that should do the trick. And with the polyfill, you know, just get it, you know, in there, it's, you know, tight, N nothing insane. But you just want to try to cover up as many areas where any small particles can get back into your aquarium. So that's that's the whole point of that. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead now and polyfill it up. So how many of you guys use polyfill? I know this is something I've talked about. I've talked about this being a way to save money actually recently. Um, because you can get this for a really good price and and uh, you know the volume lasts quite a while I've had this bag for months because you know it does a good job it lasts it does its job and it's cheap now what about the Sun Sun how many of you guys and gals use the Sun Sun filters what are your pros and what are your cons about it? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Uh, what do you like about them? What do you not like about them? Let us know. Let us know in that uh, comment section below. Fill us in. Okay, so actually I could probably fit a little bit on this one because I was able to flatten that out a little bit better. Okay, tray number two is done. Okay, tray number three and bag number three. So again, Cultramax, live freshwater biomedia. It's advanced live matrix technology. It cycles your aquarium in one to three days. I've used this before on a fresh tank. It works. Um, now, you may say no you're wrong paul it doesn't work but you know i've used it and it's worked for me so i trust and believe in this product and when you're setting these up try to get this stuff as flat as possible so that this closes and it's nothing nothing's above it because then it, the canister doesn't seal properly Okay. Let 
get the polyfill in here. Real simple, real simple. Um, in the description, I'll have links to these uh, Sun Suns. I'll have links for polyfill. Um, I'll have links for the uh, bio media that I'm using here, this Matrix by Coltramax and the Kenny Pure Blue. I'll, I'll have that all there for you guys in the description. So don't forget about that. Check that out there. And uh, you'll be able to take a look at what it costs and what you think. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that sub button and like the video. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this in here. Okay, the final tray. The final tray is going to be Actually, I'm going to pull a little bit of this out. There we go. It's going to be the Kemi Pure Blue. So what you're supposed to do with this is you leave it sealed until you're ready to use it and then rinse it. I pre-rinsed this so it was ready to go just now. But again, you open it, you rinse it to where all the black carbon dust and everything gets out of it, and then you're good to go. So these are going to be right here on each side and then polyfill the rest see here's some of that from the chemi pier right there all right let's get the polyfill in here nice nice good layer really help get those last fine particulates out of the water before it enters your tank This is my first time using Cami Pure Blue. Uh, I've used Elite, and uh, for this, I just decided I'm gonna try the try the blue. See, just see how it is. Test run for me. Uh, have any of you guys used Cami Pure Blue? What do you guys like about it? Um, obviously, it's gonna be great stuff. It's made by a a great uh, manufacturer. Lots of people use it, great reviews, and you know, it does wonders for our aquarium. So we definitely know it's gonna do an excellent job. Okay, we are set here. So now we need to go ahead and get this, which is at, on the bottom of the motor. This sits here like so. Okay, so I decided to actually fill it up now because I wanna get the uh, motor and stuff all situated on top. So again, this is tank water. Um, I'm on a well, so I know I don't have to worry about uh, chlorine, but I just like to do tank water. That's just something I like to do. Probably don't need to, but again, that's just uh, one of the things I like to do. Okay, that should, that should do. You go ahead and get it in place. Shuts on this side. Shuts on this side. Shuts here. And shuts there. Uh, I got a towel here that I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it up with. Just so if there's any leaks when I turn it on, I can see it. Currently there's water on here. <laughs> So again, yeah, a lot of pros and cons with this filter. Uh, for the fact that they're super inexpensive, that's the main reason why I like to use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this behind this and we will be back shortly. Okay, next is going to be, we need to set up the hoses and all of that. So these come with multiple parts. There's more to this that I don't, use I just don't like it all I only like to have some of it 
and uh, let's see here. So this obviously is the intake. I just wanted to get an idea of how low it would go. That's good. Yeah, I want it to suck up as much detritus <coughs> as possible. Okay. So this goes here, and actually it may be too long now that I'm looking at it. Yep, gonna be too long. So, I'm gonna go ahead and slide these up here. Take that off there. Put that on here. And we'll be good to go as far as that's concerned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get one of these hoses ready to go. Like I said, for me, one of the biggest cons to the whole Sun Sun is these uh, are the hoses. They are just, they're stiff and I, I mean, I just, that's what I, that's what I think I like the least about this system. So what you do here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off just so we can make this easier. So this is gonna go ahead and plug on into this. Now, you're gonna probably have a hard time doing this. So what you do is you heat this up under hot water so this becomes pliable and then it easily could go on here. So let's see if I can get it on without it. I can't, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Be right back. So I had to do this all by the, like I said, the water, because you need to make this pliable. But the idea is for all these, is you want to heat this up enough to where you get it over this part, and then you use this, and then you tighten it down. So you're going to do that for all of these parts so that it could be set and ready to go. So I'm going to do that now. So I got it set in place and I got it ran where I want it to run. So now what you do is you make sure that this is all shut and then you have to prime it. I go at least 10 times and then hold it and then 10 times and then hold it 10 times and hold it and you can see the bubbling, that's from the air coming out of the canister. So whatever was not uh, out from before. Okay, so you can see some of this here. So you just gotta keep priming it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in and then keep priming and we should be good to go. And then check for leaks. Everything is looking good. Let's get this bad boy fired up. All right, moment, moment of truth. Okay, see how this is going? Well, I got most of the air out because it's flowing. So you just wanna check, you wanna make sure all your air's out, check for leaks, make sure you don't have any leaks on the sides. Because this is brand new, I don't expect it. But let's go ahead and prime this a little more and you can see all that air coming out. Okay, so some air is gonna come out here and there, but we are working. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually adjust this down. It's got a nice breaks to flow here on top of the surface agitation. And we got that set there in the corner we're rocking and rolling i appreciate everybody watching please comment like share subscribe let us know if you use sun sun what you think about it what your pros and cons are like i said my pros are it's inexpensive and it does a good job filtering my cons are the hoses uh, are too firm and uh, it leaks at the motor seal after some time 
Um, so you kind of got to pick it. Me being in my fish room with concrete floor, I could kind of risk it more. But uh, all in all, it's still a filter that I will use. So, so again, please comment, like, share, subscribe, and stay tank.